Oh. Pete! Maleficent! You're here! You're all right! I found them caught inside a rift in the data. Hm. We were just fine. You will hear no words of thanks from me, child. Sayonari to the one, two, three of you. I'm out. See you chumps on the other side. Well, I think I'll keep an eye on them on their way out. And by the way, don't think we're letting you off the hook. Pretty soon, the data will go back to its original form. The way it was before, all of those bugs showed up. It's time to say goodbye. Huh? What gives? Is it a glitch? There's some kind of lump in my throat. It's not a glitch. That's just... what goodbye feels like. When we met in the datascape, it brought back a whole bunch of memories. The day I set out on my first big adventure. The day I made a new friend. A special friend. They all came rushing back to me. I knew that the journal... It's not just a diary. It's a collection. A collection of all we felt. The journal shows what's in our hearts. I promise. We'll tell the other Sora and Riku about what happened here. That way, this journey that we just had will be one everyone shares. The memories will always connect us. They'll be our own special bond. Remember, we're friends forever, Sora. Yep. Friends forever, Your Majesty. It's finally clear. What's that? Why that world they call the Date Escape seems so familiar. Huh? A book known as the Ancient Book of Prophecies. It's said to be capable of transcribing events that have yet to take place. No kidding. If we got our mitts on something like that, we could finally take over permanent-like. Yes, considering legend has it the book can also conjure, making an entire world filled with beings and powers that have yet to exist. Really? A book that could just make up a world? I don't know. That sounds like nothing more than fluffy pink kids fairy tale stuff. It just sounds too good to be true. Ah, but who's to say a fairy tale's not true? And I ask you, how does that differ from this world they call the Data Escape? Don't you think it might just be worth our while to search for a connection? Perhaps there's a link of some sort between that so-called journal of theirs and the Book of Prophecies. I'd say with that, we are on to something huge, eh, Maleficent? Ours is not a lost cause. First, we must take possession of this data of theirs. <laughs>
Hey, you know, we never did figure out that mysterious message. Guys, big news. A new world has shown up inside the journal. What do you mean? I've found another door leading to extra data. Somebody must have added it once all the other data was restored. And if we explore that world... Hmm. Then we should get some answers about this message. Great! Let's ask Sora ah. to... Hmm? When we fixed the data, everything in the journal went back to the way it started. Remember? Ah. Which means that Sora's journey through the datascape? It never happened to him. Why, now he's just the same boy he was before he ever met any of us. I'm fine. My partition isn't affected. But Sora, we can't send him out there when he doesn't know what's going on. Oh. <sighs> Wait! Hey, Riku! Could you help me get back into the datascape one more time? Sora, this was the day that your journey began. I know, because I was here too. It's time for the truth. Where am I? How'd I end up in this place? And who are you? I'm Mickey. I've come here from another kind of world. Another kind of world? Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. It's a message, and you're the only one with the power to solve the mystery behind it. So we really need your help. Power? What's that? Whoa! What's that? You may not remember, but it's clear you still hold the power inside you. Think you'd be willing to lend us a hand? You might help us figure out the truth. Gosh, I don't have a clue what's going on. I don't, but at the same time, what you're saying feels kind of familiar. So this truth you're talking about, do you think it involves me somehow? Actually, I'm not exactly positive. However, I get the sense it's something important you need to know. If it's information that I'm supposed to know then, well... <laughs> okay, Mickey. I'll help. Thank you. Let's go. Just follow my lead. Whoa. So you think the truth's hiding somewhere in here? Hey, Mickey? Guess he went ahead. Oh, who are you? Me? I'm nobody. In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose is to find. That's the way of things. Here in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? That's right. Here you will meet people you know. People that you care about. Uh, huh? It's a kind of card. With a picture on it. Use that card and press on. You will find the truth that sleeps up ahead. Well, wait! But how am I supposed to use this? He could have told me that much. And why does he seem so familiar? Oh. Wow. 
what just happened to me? Oh, that card's special. It will cause you to see people. Well, illusions to be exact. They're from Jiminy's journal. It's all of the very same data that you worked so hard to fix. Jiminy? What did I fix? I don't get it. My mistake. Someone must have pressed the reset button on your memory. All you remember is leaving the island. Just the same, you'll remember the folks you meet here. At least you should. I don't understand. What is it that I'm supposed to do? Whatever you want. Huh? There's no script to follow. The journal's the closest thing you've got. But that doesn't mean you'll see the things it says. And who really cares? Everything that happens here, and everyone you meet, is just an illusion. So then, I can do whatever I want to do? Yes. Hey, come back! He's gone. Huh? Well, you did it again, Sora. Wait a sec. Riku, why are you here? I've got something that you need to see. It'll help you. Yeah? What is it? A hidden truth that's nowhere to be found. Even in the deepest corners of your memories. It's something I want you to see. And... something I want you to feel. I know you wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important. I'll do it. Thank you, Sora. Now... Close your eyes. Wasn't that... Riku? And Kairi? That's right. I was on a journey to find you guys. Darkness had taken a hold of my heart. And Kairi had lost hers completely. But at the end of your journey... You would have saved us, Sora. Think about it. What did Kairi and I have in common? When you watched... What did you feel? Something you have in common. It was hurt. We had both lost ourselves. And we were hurting in a way we'd never hurt before. There's no greater pain in the world. I ask you, Sora. What would you have done? I would have helped you, of course. Both of you. I'd have figured out how to undo the hurt. I thought you'd say that. And you're right. You would. Or should I say, you will. That's a relief. Hey, then what was with the sneak preview? I just wanted you to see. You always make the right choices. On the road ahead, more than one truth will come to light. You'll forget things, lose things that you care about, and it won't always make sense. It'll be frustrating, and it'll make you angry. It may even hurt so badly you'll feel like you're about to lose yourself. But don't worry, Sora. That won't happen to you. You won't let it. You're like a sponge. No matter how much pain they throw at you, you'll suck it up and leave things a little bit better. Just follow your heart. And you can change the lives of not one, but many. You don't have to do anything special. Just do what you do. Be yourself. After all, that's what you're good at. Do what feels right to you. You got it. Take care, Sora. What? Weird. No one's here.
Well, Sora? How was it? Did you have fun chatting and hanging with the ghosts? You shouldn't call them ghosts. Sure, something was a little off, but I'm certain those three are still my friends. Friends? You don't say. So then, what were their names again? Tell me. Oh, I don't even have to think. Huh? What? Why can't I... remember? I know them. Like I said, everything in this castle is just an illusion. And once the illusions vanish, you'll forget all about your little reunion. I'll forget? Hey, no big deal. The fact that you can't remember them just means they weren't very important to you to begin with. Isn't that right? That's not true! Of course my friends are always important to me! Okay, maybe I forgot what just happened and who I met inside that room. Trust me, I know I'll remember everything again. Hmm, sure. More cards? All of these cards were created from the data in the journal, and all of them will show you more illusions. But from now on, the illusions won't be of your friends. You're fresh off the island, which makes everyone you meet total strangers. Here's a fun little thought. The folks you're about to see, you can fight them all you like. Huh? What do you care? They're only strangers. Actually, illusions of strangers. Just a collection of empty bits of data. They won't be able to make the distinction between what's real and what's not. They'll look at the white walls of this castle, and what they'll see are the worlds they call home. Anyway, the truth would be wasted on them, so why bother? They're only there until they're not. Do you see where I'm going with this? Nothing's real. You can break the little hearts they don't have and then forget about it. No hurt feelings, no baggage. It's that simple. You don't have a heart. It's 100% guilt-free. That's what you think. What? It's obvious you know nothing at all. Everything you say is a lie. I might have the strength to hurt someone, but what exactly would be the point? I know that it would tear me up inside. That ache would stay with me for a long time. You might not know it now, but I hope you'll see that nothing is guilt-free in this world. You've arrived at the first question. Huh? What's with that guy? So, with these cards, I'm gonna run into people from the past. I have no idea who, but it'll be fun. That guy wasn't kidding around. I really can't remember who it was I met just now. Or can I? I give up. I don't remember. That's weird. I don't know what this is. Wait, is this... what heartache feels like? Just thinking about them... causes pain inside. Hold on. If I really forgot about all those friends completely, that would mean I shouldn't be missing anyone. That makes sense. So, I haven't forgotten all of it then. There's got to be more I still don't know. I just need to find something to trigger my memory. Nice! Here goes! So, Sora, how was your time with... Who was it again? I can't remember anything at all. But you already knew that, didn't you? You seem pretty calm. Guess you decided they weren't worth stressing over. 
Out of sight, out of mind, right? That's wrong. What? It's like you said. Everyone I met, I can't remember. But still... I'm frustrated that I've forgotten them. I feel moments of loneliness. You said there would be no hurt feelings, but I am hurting. When the memories are gone, they just leave a hole. And having that longing inside me hurts. But it'll help me somewhere down the road. It's the key I'll need to unlock all my memories. Right on schedule. The sadness of knowing you forgot someone who matters to you. Something like that will gnaw at you forever. But you believe that somehow by carrying around that kind of hurt, you'll be able to retrieve the memories you lost. That's what you're thinking, right Sora? Right. <laughs> What's so funny? I, I can't believe you fell for it so easily. Huh? I told you when you arrived. Remember, in this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. Well, you've lost your memories, and the only thing you found in return is hurt. And by deciding that hurt was the key to remembering, you gave up all hope of ever being free from it. The hurt owns you now, Sora. Don't you see that? It's a wound that will never mend. That hole in your heart will grow bigger until darkness finally claims it. The darkness? Was this all just a big trick to pull me in? Afraid so. And all it took was a handful of illusions. Your heart was just way too easy to break, Sora. Not true! It's not too late to run. Huh? Why should you keep the hurt inside? Just tell yourself you need to forget about the people you met in this place. You'll have no one to miss. No cause for loneliness. No hurt to keep eating away at your heart. Sora, it's your call. Cling to the memories you've lost, and the hurt they bring, till you're dragged into the darkness. Otherwise, let it all go, and then you can be free and happy. The decision is completely yours. Wait! Should I use this? But if I were to do that, then I'd meet a friend and forget right away. I don't know if I want that. It's just going to bring more hurt. And if he's right, the darkness will eventually take over me completely. But I don't see any other way out of here. Guess this card is my only option. That is, unless I let go of the hurt. Once I go out of this room, I'll forget all about what happened and everyone I just met. Instead of carrying that hurt around until it consumes me, maybe I should let it go. What's inside my heart? What am I supposed to do? <sighs> I feel so lost. Hey, Sora! Can you hear me? Sora! Huh? I know that voice! Mickey, is that you? Where are you? Sorry, Sora. I'm still trying to find a way to get to you. Right now, the best I can do is to send my voice to where you are. It's okay. Hey, Mickey? Maybe you can help me with something. I keep forgetting people I meet in this place. And this guy says if I dwell on what I've lost, the hurt is going to take over me. And I don't want that. 
I understand. Question is, are you okay with letting go of the folks that you've forgotten? Huh? Who are they? Well, even though you may not remember them, they definitely remember you. You'll always be a really close friend to them, no matter what happens. Yeah, we and I'll never forget you. And even if you don't ever really know who we are, I hope you'll remember that. You'll always be special to us. How can that be? Why don't you ask your heart? What are you feeling right now, Sora? I don't know what this is. Who are these two? I don't think that we've ever met. But I feel like... I know them. Memories can disappear, but feelings don't. Not even when your data was reset. Inside your heart, the adventures you shared with the friends you made in the datascape will always live on. And you know what? I'll bet that's also true for all the time you spent with the folks that those cards showed to you. So it's not what's missing that's causing the hurt. It's actually what's not missing. If that's true... Hey! Uh oh Looks like I've used up too much power! I'll be there soon, Sora. I promise. Just try and hold on a little bit longer for me. Okay? Mickey! I'm all alone again. I hate feeling like this. Oh. I wonder, does this count as hurt? If I let it, will this pull me into the darkness? Hmm. I can do this. There's no going back. Just one more card. You've used up all the cards, I take it? I would ask if you enjoyed your little trip. But we both know that you've forgotten it. That you're feeling pretty empty. No, I'm not. I may not remember who I met, but I do remember that I met them. And knowing that I've forgotten them, I miss them. So you hurt. I warned you. Don't you remember what I said? That hurt will drag you down into the darkness. You have to get rid of all of it. No, I don't. I can keep the hurt because it reminds me of something important. It lets me know that what I've forgotten is crucial. That's enough. I won't run from it. It'll stay inside of my heart until the day I remember. The darkness will take you first. If I put the hurt aside, I'll lose my ties to all the people I care about. My mind's made up. I may end up falling into the darkness, but I'll carry this with me. I'll only get rid of it when I remember everything, and not a day sooner than that. I'll keep the hurt with me for the time being. It's all that I have. It's what holds the pieces in place. I accept that. You say you accept it? It's not a game! It's way past time that you learned what real hurt feels like! Come on, Sora. Do it! Finish me off! Why won't you do it? 
I get it. You've seen through my disguise. I'm just like everyone else you've encountered in this place. Made of data. I'm not even worth the effort. Is that what it is? Guess there's no point in destroying something if it never existed. Is that right? Not at all. You say that you're an illusion, but you certainly pack a really big punch. You said that you'd show me hurt, and you weren't wrong. <sighs> Actually, the hurt that I just felt was more than that. Sure, it might have hurt while we were fighting, but I sensed a different kind of hurt from you. It was kind of like an intense, sharp pain. But it felt sort of familiar. Almost like it was my own. As if we'd been connected. Like right then we shared the same hurt. If somehow it brings me closer to people in that kind of way, <laughs> then carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. all that bad. All right, I give up. Here. You pass, Sora. Congratulations, you understand hurt. Now, use this to find the truth. What do you mean? My role was to see if you were ready to take ownership of the hurt inside you. And now that role is done. Nothing left for me to do, but go away. Are you gonna go back home? I don't know if I really have one. But... There's a place I'd like to be. A place? Uh... where? Oh! What's this feeling? I've got memories that don't belong to me. A place to call home. And a sunset that's comforting. My first and my last... Summer vacation. You can rest easy. I've got you now. Mickey! I'm so glad I finally caught up to you. Sorry that it took me so long. I know you ended up having to do all the work on your own. I just couldn't get here sooner. It's okay. You're here now. Look, if I use this card, it'll lead us to the truth. Is that right? The message said their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. Maybe now we can finally... solve it. Let's find out. you oh. it's like when I met Nikki I don't know you but you're familiar nice to meet you Sora I am Nomine you may not know who it is I am but I know things about you uh so what exactly is going on here Sora 
Maybe I can explain. There was a time when you lost every one of your memories. But everything turned out to be okay because Naminé helped you through it. Wow! You really did that for me, Naminé? You deserve a big thanks. No, I don't. I put your memories back together. That part is true. But it was also me. I was the one who took them apart in the first place. Huh? Not only that, the reason all of the bugs appeared in Jiminy's journal, that was me. What? Oh. Tell us what you mean. It all began with these memories that were sleeping way down deep. Deep in Sora's heart. These... are my memories? Actually... No, they're not yours. They belong to people who are connected to you. Huh? Isn't it weird for somebody else's memories to be inside me? Yes. Usually it's impossible. When I first found them while repairing your memory, I thought I had made some sort of mistake. But then, after searching for answers, all the evidence I found proved they belong in your heart. Sora will have to awaken these memories, but this is where they will sleep until that time comes. They are important, and yet dangerous too. Naminé, how are they dangerous? These memories. All of them are too painful. Handled the wrong way, they could damage Sora's heart, even break it. That's why I needed for Sora to find a way to face that kind of hurt. So I left the message for all of you. Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. That was you! You're the one who left us that message! When I unraveled Sora and the others' memories, it also erased the words in Jiminy's journal. That book was filled with pages and pages of memories from your first adventure. It shows how deeply the journal and Sora are connected. When I took Sora's memories apart, they stayed in his heart. It may have looked like they were gone, but they were there the whole time. Even after the text disappeared from the journal, the memories remained. That's why you were able to render them as data. Yeah, but the data we got was a mess. And then all those bugs appeared. Jiminy never wrote about any bugs. That was... Me too. When I added these memories to the journal, I also added all this hurt. I thought that maybe if... you fought the bugs that sprang from these memories, you might learn to face the hurt in the memories themselves. So that's what it was. I didn't realize you had to go through so much trouble to get us to investigate this hurt, Naminé. I'm sorry. I wish I could have told you this in person. But the real me is gone. She doesn't exist now. Uh, guys? You kinda lost me a few minutes ago. <laughs> you don't have to understand it. You have already learned how to face the hurt, Sora. I did? You most certainly did. At times, the pain can be wiped away. But there's also a pain that always stays with you. There's only one way to deal with that. You face it head on and then you accept it. And if it happens that the hurt is too great for you to bear it alone, well then you turn to a friend close to your heart. Oh. It'll bring us closer together. The hurt will only make us stronger. <laughs> I'm willing to try. I'm ready to face all those memories that you found. It might have to be painful, but I can take it. Sora! Wait. 
You're not in this alone. Always remember, I'm here too. Yep. <sighs> Thank you. Just touch this. Don't be afraid. You'll feel all of the memories that are locked inside flow right into your hearts. Uh huh. These are hidden truths. Sora has been keeping them locked away, deep inside of him. Remember, these memories you're feeling, they don't belong to him. Namine, that's you. Who's the other girl? She feels so familiar. And something happened. Something terrible, didn't it? They're waiting for Sora. He's the only one who can put an end to their hurt. Diz told me he hid something inside you during the year you were asleep. I asked him what, and all he would say was that he was clearing his conscience. Sora must be the key to saving the people you saw. And the ones you're about to see. It can't be! Maybe you know how much they're hurting. These three were keys too. They were connected to the Keyblade's truth. And... They're still connected, Sora. Somewhere way down deep inside of you. Funny. I feel as though I've met them. Yes. Two of them you have met. As for the third, I never realized it, but... You and he share a very special connection. Yeah. Namine! You said Sora has to call these memories to the surface! Is it time? I can't say for sure. But I do know. A day will come when they must rise from their sleep. And then, the only one who can save them will be Sora. The bond they all share? That's gonna be the key, right? Don't worry, Namine. I'll make sure I pass this on to Sora. You know, the one in the outside world. Mm. Please do. Okay. <laughs> well... Just a second. Huh? Our promise. Your promise to the me I don't know. You kept it, right? I may be gone, but my promises to him are forever. And anyway, I owe this much. For all the... all those people that I hurt. So what happens to you? The one that's right here? I'm really just data made to pass along a message. I shouldn't... exist right now in this journal at all. And now the record of me will disappear. But when you pass my message on to the other Sora, just remember to tell him the things that you've seen and that you felt. If you do that, then we'll be at rest, her and me too. Along with everybody connected to Sora. Namine, you got it. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm? 
I almost forgot. I have a message for you, too. <laughs> Thank you. And so ended our journey to connect those memories with these. Sora, when Nominee's words are passed on to you, when the day comes that you learn of this great unknown and mysterious adventure, it's important that you understand, whatever you feel in your heart, that's what he felt in his. I wanted to tell you right away about memories from the past that sleep within you and about the pieces that will tie you to your future. Sora, Riku, Kairi, the truth behind the Keyblade has found its way through so many people and now I know that it rests in your hearts. Sora, you are who you are because of those people, but they're hurting, and you're the only one who can end their sadness. They need you. It's possible that all your journeys so far have been preparing you for this great new task that's waiting for you. I should have known there were no coincidences, only links in a much larger chain of events. And now the door to your next journey is ready to be opened. and I get visitors. Please, call me Aqua. Why are you sitting here all alone in the realm of darkness? How did you end up here? Well, I can tell you this is my second time on these shores, but unfortunately, much like the first, I do not remember who I am or whence I came. Everything was washed away in whatever currents carried me here. That's too bad. I know I've been here a long time, wandering through the endless hours, unable to escape. You wish to return to your own world? It's my friends. I promised I'd be there for them. Your friends. Somewhere in the scraps of memory I have left, you remind me of a boy I once knew. He is very much like you. True to his friends and kind, this boy travels to many worlds and fights to keep the light safe. Keep the light safe? I've been away too long. Did something happen out there? Are the worlds in danger? Sad to say, they nearly fell to darkness more than once. But at every turn, that boy arrived with Keyblade in hand to save the day. Huh? Wait a sec. Is his name Terra or Ven? Neither of those, I'm afraid. Should have known. How long has it been since I met him? At least a year now, perhaps more. 
Back then, my heart was clouded with vengeance. I did terrible things, both to him and his friends. I brought unhappiness to more lives than one. I felt something must be done. Was that why? A means of clearing my conscience, or perhaps out of a sort of scholarly instinct? While the boy slept his long sleep, I hid the results of my research inside him, transplanting the data to where it might best serve a purpose. In fact, I would like to believe, maybe he can set things right. A boy like him who touches so many hearts, he could open the right door and save all those people whose lives I managed to ruin. So many are still waiting for their new beginning, their birth by sleep. Even me, and even you. What's this boy's name? His name is... Sora. Riku. Your mind's made up? Yeah. Just, they really need me. I have to go. 
I am who I am. Because of them. <laughs> See you soon. Yunsid! I think we're finally close to figuring out where Ven's heart is! Is that so? Then that leaves only Terra. Right! And we've got to save all three of them! Hmm... The question is, what does Xehanort intend to do next? Xehanort? But his two halves are gone! There was Ansem, who commanded the Heartless, and Xemnas, who commanded the Nobodies. Didn't Sora defeat them both? Correct. Those two met their end. However, therein lies exactly our problem. Their destruction now guarantees the original Xehanort's reconstruction. Huh? Xehanort's heart, once seized by his heartless half, is now free. And his body, which had become his Nobody, has been vanquished. Both halves will now be returned to the whole. In short, this means Master Xehanort will return. And you think... you think that maybe he's gonna try something? A man like Xehanort will have left many roads open. Well, it doesn't matter what he cooks up. Me and Sora, we'll be ready. And Riku too. Yes, they are indeed strong, but... Not true Keyblade masters like you. Tell me, would a single one of you suffice if what you faced was not a single one of him? What? What do you mean? Mickey, please summon Sora hither. Riku as well. Of course, but why? to show us the mark of mastery. That was more difficult than I thought. But at least things are on track. Lord Xemnas is nowhere to be seen, so that means the party's already begun, huh? Yes. Man, does that Xehanort scare me like nobody's business. The way he can see in the mines. And it doesn't help that no one knows what it is that the old man wants. I wonder if even you know what's going on inside your own head. I will be led wherever it is I am destined to go. Sounds to me like you don't have a clue of your own. Every Keyblade Master is bequeathed a Keyblade of his very own. With the passing of time, as you can imagine, more and more Keyblades were forged to be handed down. But of all the Keyblades in existence, Master Xehanort's is the most ancient. That is my destiny. But it has yet to become a reality. Hey, it's okay. This is all connected to the ancient Keyblade War, isn't that right? Whatever. I got my hands full with my own plans. So, which poor soul will it be? <laughs> As a Keyblade Master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light, Keyblade wielders like yourself. And mark my words, 
he will trouble us yet again. We must be ready. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested for the mark of a true Keyblade Master. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders, an impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions, forget what you know about the Keyblade, and begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Well, but that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the King and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Walking that path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a Keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then. Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness, but some never returned completely. They still sleep cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The Dream Eaters will guide you. Just as the Heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. Long ago, in the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light, a gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Hearts. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But in time, the world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves, and the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted Keyblades in the image of the original Keyblade, and waged a great war over Kingdom Hearts. We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With that light, the world was remade as we know it today, with countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it one of darkness and one of light, shattered into twenty pieces, seven of light, thirteen of darkness. And as for the source of all light, the one true Kingdom Hearts, it was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, 
Even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade, a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. In the sleeping worlds, real time does not flow. Unless one restores the world by waking it from its slumber, it will stay locked in a dream forever. Thus, you may encounter familiar faces, but they are just figments of the dream. In actuality, they are sound asleep. Trapped within a world that is also sleeping. What's more, whilst someone may no longer dwell in the real version of a world, dreams may paint a fuller picture and restore what seems to be missing. Hey! Is this how you wanted it? Xehanort! You want to fill me in? I am. Hey! Do you remember now, or...? Wait... Did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? <sighs> my name... Is Ansem. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. Riku. A storm's coming. I know. The waves are getting steep. Furl the sail. Right. Uh, Riku! I'm fine. What's that? <laughs> oh, he was right. Those wretched guppies are here! Well, it's about time we settle the score! Ursula? But how... Is this the test? Come on! Uh -huh. You can work it out later! All right! Sorry, dearies, but I won't fall for that trick! has been connected. Huh? This is... Traverse Town. 
Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. What happened to Riku? Riku! Hello? Riku! Shut it. Huh? Talk about noise. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sora, right? Yeah, but... Uh, how do you know that? Looks like you're not a player. A player? Come on, keep up. In the game. Players get marked with the time limit. And this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Look, sorry. You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? Now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool! Lead the way! Whoa! Hey, I didn't catch your name. Dream Eaters! That's a weird name. Not me. Them. Right. I knew that. Don't let them surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neko. Huh? Neku Sakuraba, you asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. <laughs> These things with you, they're Dream Eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. I guess. I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Neku? No way! Hey! That wasn't the deal! You said you wouldn't hurt him! Don't! Neku! Ah. They're too dangerous! <laughs> what? Why am I so sleepy? Huh? Am I in... Traverse Town? My clothes have changed. Sora! Where are you? I remember we fell overboard after Ursula attacked, and then I think we opened a keyhole. So, this must be one of the sleeping worlds. My keyblade. It just sort of popped into my hand when I needed it most. Right. It started. Wow. Huh? Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? My name is Joshua. What do you mean, portal? Are we just skipping past the part where you tell me your name? Riku. <laughs> 
Hello there, Riku. Portals are like gateways that link up our worlds. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now, well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split in half. Portals are what let folks like us cross between them. There can be two of a world? The world is as many things as people need it to be. The concept that we all live in the same world, that's just in our heads. Surely you knew. I'll tell you what, Riku. I've got a little errand for you. Sorry. I don't trust you. Ah, <laughs> uh, at least hear me out. I'm looking for a girl named Rhyme. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side, who knows who we'll find? Maybe even your friend, Sora. Uh, you know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. But unfortunately, I don't know where he is. If he's not in this version of the world, I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Simple logic. Okay. You want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. Joshua, why don't they ever attack you? They being Dream Eaters? They won't go after you unless you're a dreamer. Which is funny, because I've got plenty of dreams. But they're definitely attacking me. So... You think I'm a dreamer? Every human being is a dreamer. I had a friend once, who said he never dreamed of anything, but it turned out that his were the most powerful dreams of all. You sort of remind me of him. Why don't we give your dreams shape? In this world, they take form as dream eaters, which can become great allies. I got you huh? now, Joshua! Hmm? Once I take you down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belong. Feet. How many times do we have to go over this? You've been tricked by that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? But that's... I'm telling you, you've made a friend of our enemy. Just can it, all right? Your inverse psychiatry ain't gonna work. Let's go! Dream Eaters! What? Ugh, man, not cool! Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Forget it. This is stale, yo. <laughs> Playing the tough guy 24-7? I'd be worn out, too. I just... want to protect the one person who matters. I know the feeling. Ugh. Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Where is he? They're both gone. Before I fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. We never even found Neku's partner. I guess I should just take a look around. been this way before. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> hey, um, any chance you're Neku's partner? Huh? Um, I'm not really sure. All I know is that my name is Ryan. You mean, you've lost your memory? Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's no big deal. You know what they always say. 
Sometimes memories just need a little help getting out. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Huh, a little help. I know. Maybe Neku can jog your memory. Come on, Ryan. Let's go find him. Right. Hey, Neku, it's you! Sora... What? You actually still trust me? Of course I do! But you know that I tricked you, right? That guy in the black coat? He said he could send me home. Me and my partner. But I had to bring you to him first. Sorry. No big deal. When it really mattered, you stood up for me. And besides, we're friends, right? Friends. <sighs> <laughs> oh, hey, Neku. This here is Rhyme. Is she your game partner? No. Sorry. I'm teamed up with somebody else. Huh? What? Rhyme! Huh? Hey, wait! Out of my way! Did I fall asleep? Where are Joshua and Beat? Hey, do you mind? Huh? Stay back! Seriously, thanks. I'm Shiki. How about you? Riku. Thanks, Riku. Sure. Hey, that's it? You chat up a girl and then just say, sure, and walk off? I'm bad at this. Sorry. Look, it's not safe here. You should go home. If it's dangerous, how can you just leave me here? Aren't you my knight in shining armor? Well? N knight You've got the wrong idea. Oh my gosh, I was so just kidding. You get out much? Uh, uh. You remind me of this guy I know. Well, good thing we met. Yeah, great. Over there! Uh, hey! We should stick together! Perfect. You can't expect me to... <gasps> Shiki. No way. How did you get here? Who are you? Uh. By choice or chance, you cannot control what you are not aware of. This wakeless sleep will be your prison to wander forever. What do you mean? Riku! Uh. Don't you listen to that punk! Shiki's gonna be fine. She told me what's up. Hoodie here set this whole thing up, yo. He promised to send Shiki back to our world, and you was the cost of travel. Yo, this is seriously one half-baked excuse for a mission. Bet you ain't even a reaper. All right. Who are you? Wait! Ugh. I'm really sorry.
sorry, Riku. Uh. It's all right. Beat. Watch her. I got this, yo! Riku! Huh? Hold on, Sora. Huh? Joshua. Hello, Neku. How long the days without you have felt. Rhyme! I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Neku, do you know this guy? Yeah. Joshua. He's my... friend. Okay. Are you the one who took Rhyme away? And why do you know my name? If you'd like to settle down for a sec, I'll field your questions one at a time. Let's start with Rhyme. I'm hanging on to her dreams for her. They're my portal. Huh? Let's just say her dreams are a gateway between worlds. Oh. <laughs> Next question. How could I possibly know your name? Right? This town has a little secret. It only appears when someone out there has need of shelter. I'll spare you the details, but right now it's made up of my dreams. So of course I know you. I dreamed you up. I know your best friend Riku, too. Really? You know Riku? Well, yeah. I'm kind of omniscient. Then where is he? He's right inside this projection, in another imagining of this world. You mean, another Traverse Town? Can I get there with your portal thing? Sad to say, it won't work for you. My portal thing only opens for the one with Rhyme's dreams. In this projection, you're seeing another chain of events, in another world trapped by the Dream Eaters. As for how the world got split in two, I have a feeling you'll need to ask this guy. Him again. Uh -huh. Who's that? Beat. Shiki. Riku. What are we seeing? This oh. is so messed up, man! She's right here in front of me and I can't reach her! If your hearts are connected, you'll reach her. In their world, 
something happened that brought their existence to an end. To keep them from fading altogether, I gathered up the very last remnants of their dreams and looked for a place to give them refuge. It was then this world appeared to answer my call, and Rhyme's dreams allowed us to reach it. Here, I thought they might have a chance that the pieces of their dreams could make them whole again. Imagine my surprise when I realized dreams take bodily form in this world. It struck me, by linking their dream pieces back together, maybe I could make them exist again. Maybe I could give them another chance. It can't be that simple. <laughs> well, why can't it? By ourselves, we're no one. It's when other people look at us and see someone. That's the moment we each start to exist. All they needed was for someone to see them, connect with them. And the two of you were a big part of making it happen. Joshua, just... Who are you? <laughs> Let's say... a friend. One dream is connected to another, which means we must choose in which sleeping world you will begin. I will return you to the Destiny Islands just before they were swallowed by the darkness and plunged into sleep. Once dreams take you, you must let them guide you to the sleeping worlds. As there are seven pure lights, there are seven sleeping keyholes. Unlocking these will both grant you new powers and free the worlds from their wakelessness. Complete this task and return here safely, and I will name you both True Masters. Oh, my dear Quasimodo, you don't know what it's like out there. The world is cruel, and you are deformed and ugly. You will be shown little pity. You must believe me. I am your only friend. And how can I protect you, my dear boy, unless you stay in here? Remember, Quasimodo, this is your sanctuary. Yes, Master. You've come to Paris in her darkest hour, Captain. It will take a firm hand to save the weak-minded from being so easily misled. Misled? Sir? For twenty years, I have been taking care of the gypsies. And yet, for all my success, they have thrived. I believe they have a safe haven within the walls of this very city. What are we going to do about it, sir? Stamp them out. One by one. You make your point quite vividly, sir. Stop her! <sighs> huh? You there! Have you seen a gypsy woman? Nope. Sorry. All right. Thanks. I'm terribly sorry, sir. We've lost her. Mm, slippery vermin. I'm beginning to question having summoned you back from the wars, Captain Phoebus.
Thank you. You stood up for me. I'm Esmeralda. Riku. And it's not like I know what a gypsy is. Why are they chasing you? Judge Frollo has been hunting us for years. We gypsies are guilty of nothing but loving our freedom. Yet Frollo hates whatever he can't control. Now he's even brought in fresh blood to torment us. <sighs> I'd hate to know what darkness drives that man. I think I can imagine. Tell me more. Was he always like this? I don't give Frollo much thought. But, if you'd like, you could try Notre Dame. They say it's a place for answers. Is anybody here? Who... who are you? I'm Riku. Oh, my name's Quasimodo. I'm very sorry, but the Archdeacon is away. Actually, I'm looking for a man named Frollo. Do you know where he is? My master? He said he had business on the outskirts of the city. Do you mean you know him? Oh, yes. He's... he's very kind. Master Frollo saved my life. He protects me from the outside world. He protects you from it? The people out there would be cruel to me. I'm a... monster, you know. Is that what Frollo told you? Trust me. Looks can be deceiving. A good friend sees you for who you are, no matter what face you wear. You should go out there. Find some friends who understand you. Oh no. My master forbids it. I'm not to set foot outside. Are you sure that's what's stopping you? Because I think something else is holding you back. Ask your heart, Quasimodo. I'll check the edge of town. Thanks. Wish I could take my own advice. Big one. What? Uh. Huh. Well, like this is fair. No use. I gotta run for it. Stand aside, Captain Phoebus. I will not. What have these people done wrong? I have proof this family gave harbor to gypsies. That's not a crime. I can think of few crimes that are greater. No! Oh. <laughs> what demon is this? Oh, you are mistaken, Captain Phoebus. This is no demon. It is righteous judgment. I have been granted this power so that I may smite all gypsies now and forever. This is all wrong! He won't listen. Once you've fallen that far, there's almost no coming back. How dare you? I am a virtuous man. Good and evil shall be made plain. Once the gypsies face the fires of judgment... <laughs> No, you don't! You alright? Well, can't say you didn't warn me. 
You should take it easy. I'll deal with Frollo. Thanks. I gotta tell you, this is embarrassing having to rely on a kid. You wouldn't be the first. Sorry. <laughs> I'll admit, you look more capable than me right now. All right. Be careful. It looks like that creature is heading for the cathedral. Okay. Got it. Is she going to be all right? I'm fine. Thanks to Quasimodo. Quasimodo. Where did the creature go? It's... it's up there. Right. Wait. Wait, I'll go with you. Thanks, but stay with her. Quasimodo, did your heart have the answer? <laughs> well, I guess you three got this covered. It was a walk in the park. How would you know? You don't have any legs. Yeah, but... Aw, oh, give me a break! It's just a figure of speech! Both of you pipe down and get ready, because here comes some more! Yeehaw! It's up there. <laughs> yes, let it burn. The flames will consume everything! You see? This is the power that has been granted to me! I see a sad old man with a dark heart. Again, you are wrong! Now you will be judged! Just like the rest! You're Ansem! Why are you here? Your best friend is never far. So sad. The cost of yielding to the darkness. You could write a book about that. But I embrace the darkness. And unless you hurry up and learn to do the same, your story will end just like his. I walk the road to dawn. Still afraid of the dark, I see. Hm. Wait! <laughs> he thinks I'm afraid of the dark? No. Not while I have the Keyblade. It will guide me to the light! Master Frollo, he made me live inside the bell tower. But the real walls were the ones I built around my heart. You helped me see that, Riku. I was... speaking from... personal experience. I'd say you still keep a lot locked inside. We all do that sometimes. There are just some things we need to keep separate from the world at large. At least until we have time to figure them out.
I know the road my heart walks. Hey, Axel. You haven't forgotten. Hmm? What? You made us a promise. I did? That you'd always be there. To bring us back. Yeah. Got it memorized? <laughs> Best friends forever. Where? What happened to me? Roxas. That's me. Dylan. Alias. Evan. Yenzo. the ones who joined the organization here. I guess Xehanort doesn't count. But where are Bragg and... Isa? I've never seen you before. Your name? I'm Sora. Such disgusting attire. I know what you are. Judge Frollo! Sir! What is the matter, Captain Phoebus? Can't you see? I am interrogating this gypsy. This kid here? But, sir, he's just a boy. I shall be the judge of that. Now, Captain? Did you have something to report to me, or did you not? Yes, sir. Monsters. They've invaded the square. Monsters? I'll take care of it. <laughs> hey, wait! It's not safe! This city is overrun. For decades I've worked to purge the city of those wretched gypsies. And now the streets teem with even more disgusting vermin that threaten law and order. I knew it was Dream Eaters! What are you doing? You need to run! Oh no! I couldn't! Today's the festival, and look! I'm the King of Fools! Huh. Quasimodo! <gasps> it's my master. No! Oh, please stop! Why doesn't anything ever go the way I want it to? Get to safety! Let me help. Huh? Who are you? Esmeralda. I'm a gypsy. Thank you. I'm Sora. Okay, now you've got my attention. I wonder if that guy is all right. Quasi... what was it?
This is Big Marie. Hello! She likes you. <laughs> Looks like Quasi's gonna be just fine. Indisputably. He's tough! We may be hard as stone, but Quasi's stronger. I know. Whoa! Talking gargoyles? Excuse us for having personality. Hmm? You could stay here forever. No, I couldn't. Oh yes, you have sanctuary. But not freedom. Gypsies don't do well inside stone walls. You helped me. Now, I will help you. But there's no way out. There's soldiers at every door. We won't use a door. It's all right. Uh, Are you ready? Uh, Didn't expect that. So how come you and Quasimodo are so close? We've been friends for years. More than a decade of camaraderie. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He never leaves? Oh, he's not allowed to leave. Judge Frollo forbids it. Why? Care to pull up a stool? The short version is, Frollo thinks he's doing Quasi a favor by keeping folks from seeing that mug of his. After a lifetime of watching from the nosebleed seats, Quasi just wanted to go to the Feast of Fools. And we're so proud of him for finally working up the courage to do it. Tis a shame those creatures dashed his hopes. You should talk. When's the last time you looked in a mirror? Well, you broke it. Ah. A wise guy, eh? Knock it off, you couple of blockheads! I just hope this one failure doesn't cause Quasi to give up. He was so close. He can't let his heart be a prison. Don't worry. I'll go talk to him. <laughs> oh. Hello again. Sora, was it? Hold it. You're that guy with Frollo. Easy. I'm not looking for any sort of fight. Finally, someone sensible. I'm Phoebus. Tell me, is she still safe in the cathedral? If she is Esmeralda, then Quasimodo helped her escape. Last. What's wrong? It's Judge Frollo. He's obsessed with destroying the gypsies, and his mind is in a dark place. When I objected to his barbarous actions, he banished me from the guard. What? That's not fair. Don't worry about me. Frollo said he's found the Court of Miracles, the Gypsy's haven within the city. Esmeralda and her friends are in danger. Hmm? We have to find them and warn them before Frollo gets there. Huh? Quasimodo! Esmeralda's in trouble! Where did she go? I don't know. She... she vanished into the streets. She gave me this pendant. Esmeralda oh. said this would help us find her. When you wear this woven band, you hold the city in your hand. <gasps> it's the city! It's a map, see? Here's the cathedral and the river. Go this way, cross the bridge and... The Court of Miracles! Well done, Quasimodo! Yeah, Quasi? Nice! Yes. I'm going to save her. Quasimodo? What are you doing here? Phoebus and I came to warn you. Frollo's on his way. Take what you can and flee. Well <laughs> done, Captain Phoebus. Thankfully, you are every bit as predictable as I had hoped. Mm. Dear Quasimodo, I always knew you would someday be of use to me. I have you at last, you witch. There'll be a bonfire in the square. No! Please, Master! Huh. Frollo! Mm. I won't let you do this! Huh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No! <sighs> Quasimodo? Esmeralda! Phoebus! He's taking her to a bonfire in the square. I gotta hurry! Esmeralda! Way to go, Quasi! I should have known you'd risk your life to save that gypsy witch. Just as your own mother died in her pitiful attempt to save you. What? Now, I'm going to do what I should have done 20 years ago! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> and he shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit forever! Quasimodo, you can't let your heart be- I know. I can't blame Frollo for putting walls around me. It wasn't the walls that were holding me back. Hmm. But my heart is free now. I'm ready to really see what's out there. All that time, Quasimodo let himself be trapped inside the nightmares Frollo gave him. Hypocrite. You are the one who has made your heart a prison. <gasps> you again! What are you talking about? Even if you are not the prisoner. Huh?
My heart's a prison? Shame on you, Pinocchio. Playing hooky and goofing off in a place like this. I'm sorry, Jiminy. I was going to school till I met somebody. Yeah, uh, two big monsters with big green eyes. Hmm? Oh, you don't say. And then what happened? They, uh, they tied me in a big sack. Oh. Sounds like you were horsing around. But I snuck off when they weren't looking. My nose! What's happened? There. You see where those tall tails will get you? But it's all true. Even the fella in the black clothes who said to play a trick on Sora. What? Now who was he? I've had just about enough of your fibbing. Hold on. I guess that part was true. <laughs> Tell me, Pinocchio, did that man in black say anything else to you? Um, he sure didn't. Well, good. Hey, look at that. That star again. The Blue Fairy. Why, Pinocchio, what has happened to your nose? Oh, um... Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Sir Jiminy? Well, you see, uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, 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 Miss Fairy... Oh, please help me. I'm awful sorry. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'll never lie again. Honest, I won't. I'll forgive you this once. But remember, a boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. We'll, we'll be good, good, won't we? Very well. But this is the last time I can help you. <gasps> this monstro? I've heard of him, Pinocchio. He's a whale of a whale. Why, he, he swallows whole ships alive. And besides, it's dangerous. Why, I, uh... Goodbye, Jiminy. Goodbye? I may be live bait down there, but I'm with you. Ah. Wow! That Pinocchio! He must have his poor father worried sick. Hmm... Still... That little fella, some miracle. Imagine, Mr. Geppetto's wooden puppet brought to life by the Blue Fairy. She made his wish for a son come true because he's given so much happiness to others. Now Pinocchio needs me to guide him and be his conscience. So maybe one day he can be a real... <laughs> well, now let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jiminy. First, <laughs> You gotta go find Pinocchio. Huh? Hey, Jiminy. What's up? Hmm? Who are you? You shouldn't be here, young man. What? Are you okay, Jiminy? Huh? You mean you've heard of me? <laughs> well, I'll be. The name Jiminy Cricket's already spread far and wide. Really? You feeling all right? It's me, Sora. Sora, you say? Gosh, I don't think I recognize you, but the name does have a familiar ring. Um... Oh, yeah! The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe it's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So, how come you said I need to get out of here? 
<laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other. And you've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm. But where was I? Oh, yes. This is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack -a mules of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora, from my friend Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? That guy again. Forget him. If I don't find Pinocchio, he'll turn into a donkey like the rest of the boys. Right. Then let me help you find him, Jiminy. Really? I'd be grateful. But how in the world do you know Pinocchio? Oh, uh, um... Hey! Over there! I see him! Gosh! That is Pinocchio! All aboard, Jiminy! <laughs> Take it away! <laughs> Pinocchio! There you are! Pinocchio, it's not safe for you here. Listen to Jiminy and go back to... Oh, what? hi! Dream Eaters! <sighs> Only one way to solve this problem. Those Dream Eaters were pretending to be Pinocchio. So, then where's the real Pinocchio? Sora! Up there! Huh? Look at the top of that tower! You're right! Come on, Jiminy! Gee, Pinocchio, how'd you manage to get up here? Come on, let's go home. Ah! Another imposter. Hmm. There! See him walking? Well, sure, if that's really him. Don't give up, Jiminy. Come on, let's go! Pinocchio! <gasps> Jiminy! Help me, Jiminy! Oh, my stars above! We've got to do something! Okay, I got it covered. <laughs> oh, Pinocchio! Look at you! I think for now, you two better get out of here. You again? Demnus? This is impossible! My, my. A hollow puppet that's managed to grow a heart. Just imagine that. Pinocchio isn't anything like you nobodies. But if Pinocchio could be given one, shouldn't you be able to have a heart inside you too? <laughs> Maybe so. However, do not forget that you yourself are not so very different from us. How am I anything like a nobody? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I hope they got home safe. Hmm? Ah! You must be Sora. Oh. Yes, ma'am. And you must be the Blue Fairy. That's right. And I'm afraid that I have grave news. Good Geppetto went off to look for Pinocchio, and he was swallowed by a whale named Monstro. What? Have you told Pinocchio and Jiminy about it yet? Yes. And when I told them Geppetto was still alive inside the whale and at the bottom of the sea, those two little ones ran off at once. They're very determined to save him. But that's crazy! I've got to find them! <laughs> huh? 
Claw my way past, then rescue my friends. I get it now. After this, Pinocchio and Jiminy's world gets dragged into darkness. And they end up cast into the sea between worlds, along with Monstro. And then, they end up in Traverse Town and the belly of the whale. That's when we meet for real. It's like Master Yen Sid said. I'm in the dream, Pinocchio's world is dreaming. And that world will never be right again until it wakes from sleep. Turn this castle upside down. Hey, are the other two still out cold? Dylan and Evan are conscious again, but still unstable. They're resting inside. Gotcha. Well, I guess I'll give the castle grounds a sweep. Don't. If they were back, we would have found them by now. Hmm. So do you think they were blasted off to some other world, or what? I highly doubt it. When someone who's lost their heart is recompleted, they should return to the place where it happened. And if that world is unavailable for whatever reason, a refuge is made for them in the realm between, a world called Traverse Town. They would be sent there. Or perhaps... No, look. Okay. The fact is... We're here. We've been recompleted, right? So they should be here too. Plain and simple. I agree, it is strange. Ah, <sighs> what a drag. Could they not have been recompleted at all? Well, you see... That, forget it. You know what? I'll bring them back myself. Huh? How, exactly? Why do I always get stuck with the icky jobs? Oh. Hmm. He 
Pinocchio! Son! Where have you run off to? Isn't that Geppetto? Then this must be... What's the matter? Huh? Goodness! Who, who are you? Riku. Oh, Riku. You poor lad. Seems you were swallowed up by Monstro just like the rest of us. My name is Gippetto, and I'm looking for my son Pinocchio. Pinocchio's gone missing? I'm afraid so. After all my searching, I found him here in the whale. But then he ran off again to who knows where. That sounds kind of... familiar. Mr. Geppetto, let me go look for your son. You would do that? Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Leave it to me. Did you say you were really going to help us find Pinocchio? Hmm? Huh? Jiminy? Huh? That's right. Name's Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. But, shucks, have we met? No. You know, never mind. Hmm, if you say so. Anyway, Pinocchio comes first. Right. Any idea where he went? Well, I'm almost certain he wandered off with a stranger. Can you describe him? Hmm. I remember he was dressed in a black coat. Huh? A black coat? He's back again. Thanks. Well, I'm going with you. Pinocchio's gonna need his conscience, and that's where I come in. Pinocchio! Jiminy! Let him go now! Goodness, are you all right? Riku and I looked for you everywhere. Uh-huh, I'm just fine. Sorry, Jiminy, I messed up real bad. You and Father must have been so worried about me. Why, Pinocchio? I think you just might be finally starting to learn. Who are you? Me? As I live and breathe. That was my... my dark side. I gave in to the darkness once, and ever since, it's chased me around in one form or another. The seeker of darkness who stole my body. A puppet replica of the shadows in my heart. And now, I'm facing me. Your dark side? Gee, Riku. Don't you have a Jiminy like I do? He's my conscience. He's taught me all kinds of important stuff. Maybe you just need somebody to show you what's right and wrong. Sure. You can't shoulder all your problems alone, you know. You must have somebody. A friend you can talk to? Yeah. Actually, I do. That stupid grin he's always wearing. He's the best teacher I could ever have. Gee whiz, I wish I had lots of good friends. You will, Pinocchio. More than you can count. <sighs> what now? Is something in there? Pinocchio, Jiminy, you should head back. I'll see what's shaking things up. Okay.
I thought I was only sent into the past, on the Destiny Islands. So why does it seem like time was rewound in this world too? Maybe it's like Master Yen Sid said, the world was freed from darkness, but is yet to wake from it. It's trapped in a never-ending dream. I tried to get back, but I... I couldn't get to the portal. It uses massive power, and it can't stay open forever. And like a safe, it... It can only be open from the outside. It closed on me, Sam. That's why I never came home. So the portal... It activated when I came in. So it's open now. Not for long. Only one millicycle. About eight hours. So we go now. We go home. We make a run for it. We get you Sam, out of here. Don't rush. What do you mean, don't rush? The portal's gonna close. My disc is everything, Sam. It's the master key. The golden ticket. The way out. And not just for me. What do you mean? Our worlds are more connected than anyone knows. Clue figures if I can be in... He can be out? With my disc, it's possible. And then what? Game over. The guy doesn't dig in perfection. What's more imperfect than our world? I can't let that happen. I won't. So what do we do? Nothing? It's amazing how productive doing nothing can be. Clue is planning something. We've known that for a while. It's his game now. The only way to win is not to play. Yeah, well, that's a hell of a way to live. <laughs> but it is a way. Sometimes life has a way of moving you past things like wants and hopes. That's great, Dad. Keep telling yourself that. Good night, Sam. Your disc. Dad. It's gone. It is. She's stable. We have to go back. Clue will use it to reach the outside world. I can stop him from destroying it if you just let me do this! You've done enough already! So what do we do now? I don't know. Nothing. We do nothing. Be still. Wait. We can hop a solar sailor. A full-on sprint to the portal. We can beat Clue there. Let's get her out of here. This outfit? Hey, I know where I am. Huh? Whoa! What is that?
Whoa! Oh, man! Identify. Oh. State your handle, program. I, uh, don't have any handles, but the name's Sora. Verifying handle, Sora. Handle not found. Stray program recognized. Hey! Whoa. Uh. Isolating for quarantine. Whoa there! That is so unfriendly! Uh. That boy's weapon. It's different. But it's something you programmed, right, Dad? Huh? No, Sam. No, I've never seen it. <laughs> what was that about? Hey. Huh? That weapon. Can I see it? Oh. This is just incredible. What a program. The weapon and the wielder. Program? Not me. This is called a Keyblade, and I'm Sora. I'm Sam. So this is like Tron's world. Right? You know Tron. I, uh, yeah. I've met him and stuff. Listen, that program you just fought was Tron. What? That was Tron? Tron used to be a good friend. Together, we created this place, the grid. It was something, man. But then Clue staged a coup. I was exiled and... Tron wound up getting derezzed, or so I thought. Clue made him into a new program called Rinsler. That's the thing about programs. Mess with the code just a little, and their whole nature and memory can change. But that's horrible! Hmm. Most of this is over my head. But both Tron and this world do seem pretty different. Still, if that's really the Tron I know, we should change him back. Bingo. And now you're up to speed. If we're lucky, Clue kept a backup of Tron's source code. He's a program, after all. He'd be methodical like that. <laughs> so, if we get Tron's source code back from Clue, we can put him back to normal, right? That's the idea. Great! Thanks, mister. Where are you going? I'm going after Clue. Do you even know where he is? Nope, no idea. What a strange user. You're nothing like Flynn or Sam. Come on, Sora. I'll show you the way. Huh? Cora, we have to keep moving. Yeah. What are you gonna do if Rinsler attacks again? If we're in a hurry, we have to take care of Rinsler first. The two of us can handle him. All right. Do what you can. Maybe you and Sora can help Tron. Dad, no. Relax, Sam. I have a feeling Sora is someone we can trust. Now you and me need to press on. <sighs> okay. Cora, be careful. 
You too. All right. It's you and me. You ready, Sora? Yeah. Let's do this, Korra. Clue should be at the helm of his battleship, the Rectifier. We can get there with a solar sailor from the underground docks. Hmm. What's this? A keyblade. Sure, we'll find Tron's source code here. <laughs> it's not here. Maybe Clue has it with him. Sora, let's look elsewhere. All right. Huh? Oh. Wait, Cora. Let me talk to Rinsler. A little heart to heart might jog his memory. He's a program, Sora. Programs don't have hearts. That's not true. The Tron I remember, he had something. Hey, you used to be called Tron, right? Clue did something to you to mess with your memory. You're a little confused, but that's okay. Come on. Remember, Tron! I don't think Rinsler is quite the friend you remember. He just needs time, that's all. Quora! Tron, don't! <laughs> Tron, why? That's what we do. Put the most precious <sighs> memories in the back of our minds where they're safe. Or in your case, the most precious hearts? Not you again! The memory and heart are tightly linked. Oh, Samus! Rub a few memories together, and you get a spark of emotion, a feeling. But in a digital world, memory does not work like that. Nothing is ever felt. You can hold a thousand, a million times the information, but there is still no heart with which to parse it. Once, my master, Ansem, found an old system and made a copy of its master control program and used it to serve his own ends. This is the original data of that system. Here, data can be copied. Memory can be changed and easily manipulated. Tron is a digital entity, so why would he be any different? He obeys the rules of this world. Sora, what about you? Me? Your heart, memories, your data, and your dreams. The bits and bytes that have made up your life so far. Can you say for sure they are not just copies of someone else's? Yes! My memories and feelings belong to me! You had better check. Make certain the box's contents match what's on the label. Since you have been chosen, Chosen for what? 
You think this is the realm of dreams, but there you are mistaken. Data does not dream, cannot dream. <laughs> this world is real. You haven't the slightest idea where you are, that you have already wandered off the path. What do you mean? What in the world? Combatant 13 versus Grinsler. <sighs> Greetings, Sora. I've been waiting. Who are you? I am Clue. <sighs> so it was you. You're the guy who turned Tron into Rinsler. Correct. I had to repurpose his code. Well, unrepurpose it. Yes. Under the right parameters, I might. Huh? You have a little item called a Keyblade. It can open any lock, isn't that right? Hand it over, and I'll change Rinsler back into Tron. The Keyblade? I... I can't. This is what lights the darkness. A chance to make everyone happy! Ha! <laughs> Flawed reasoning. I'll have to take it by force. Tron! Why can't I get through to you? Fight, Sora! <gasps> Korra! You're okay! I can't believe it! Yes. I think Tron heard you. Long enough for me to escape. You can do it! You can get through to him! Sora! You have to fight him! But, Korra! How can I...? You have that key! It will bring him to his senses! I'll try! Let's go, Tron! Deal with you later. I have to retrieve Rinsler. He reached for my hand. Tron is still in there. You and that key have a special power. So do you. Power to make me see it. So, does that mean we're friends? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa.
what if my memories aren't my own? No, I gotta be like Tron. Maybe we're walking the wrong path, but our hearts will lead us back to the truth. He'll be just fine as long as Riku's with him. Uh. Huh? You don't think? No! Master Yen said! Look! It's a raven! Oh! That raven is Maleficence. What's the that? Huh? Why, that's Minnie's. Well? Huh? Gorge, what's it say? It's from Maleficent. She's kidnapped Minnie. She took Queen Minnie. Minnie. The letter says for me to return to Disney Castle, or else. Mickey, there is no time to waste. Okay, you fellas stay here. King hey, Mickey, we're going, going with, with you. you. Gosh, uh, I guess you're right, pals. We friends need to stick together. Master Yen Sid, we'll be back. Hmm. <sighs> the timing is too perfect, too calculated. Maleficent must sense a change in the forces of darkness. A change like Xehanort. <laughs> <laughs>